Hey, this is Chris D. Martin with BrightSpiritRising.com, and I thought um, just been asked to share with you a um, channeled message that I received from Ascended Master El Moria a couple of months ago, and uh, it's been in my journal for a bit. And somehow tonight I just got this little inclination to do a quick video and open my journal and there it is it's this message and it's it's beautiful so i thought i'd share it with you today and uh, so here we'll begin to become clear you must know yourself and to know yourself you must be willing to look at yourself honestly to love yourself for who you are compassion is necessary objectivity is necessary love is imperative you must look at yourself without judgment and admit the truth of who you are and release attachment to the projected images of yourself generated by a frightened and discontented ego. To release the shame, release the guilt, release the longing, release the sense of obligation. You must look at yourself as though at a wild animal. This is what it is. This is what it needs to survive and thrive. And when it is placed in its natural environment, it naturally contributes to the health and workings of all. But you are more than a wild animal. You are a conscious being with the power to choose and to create your own reality, your own environment, your own destiny. Which will you choose to create a world and an environment that pinches and restricts and worries you? That is what you have created in the past. And you are at this moment still experiencing the effects of that decision. Understand that when you are, what you are experiencing now is the energetic manifestation of the state of your mind, your consciousness in the past. You may have noticed that time seems to be going by quicker as you progress in life. This is because as you learn your lessons, as you ascend, the consequences of your thought patterns are made known to you more quickly. That is because the, <laughs> the veil of time is thinning for you as you become more aware. Now you are experiencing a shift in your material circumstances corresponding to a shift in consciousness from several months back. If you choose to maintain the momentum of this shift, you will continue to see improvements in your material existence corresponding to the cleansing and the learning that you have been doing at the spiritual level. It happens quicker or slower in different areas of your life, depending on how adept you are how you have progressed in each area and according to your soul's purpose as well as accumulated karma in each area. For example, you will notice that you were asking a few weeks back with a sincere heart for us to speak to you in words that you can clearly understand. This channeling is an answer to that prayer. You are relatively clear in this area, so this request is easily granted in the areas of money and love where you have had major accumula accumulations of karma and lessons to learn, you've been experiencing the shift over longer periods of time. Yet, like the breaking of a dam, like the breaking of a dam, these at some point come to a head and quickly shift. It happens in the mind first, then on the material plane. You will experience this very soon in the material as long as you remain steady on your spiritual path. Now back to what you, re you requested, heart healing and clarity. You are correct, the two are linked. Clarity demands self-love. Ask, ask for a softening of that which binds you. Ask above all for forgiveness, forgive yourself. You have done nothing wrong. You, like all humans, have fallen into forgetfulness, forgetting who you are, forgetting you are a divine being and a beautiful child of light. 
But there is no shame in that circumstance. It is simply the nature of humanity, and there is a reason for it. So forgive yourself and love yourself. And if you need help, ask for it. We are here. So I hope you enjoyed uh, that message from El Moria. Um, if you enjoyed it, then uh, please consider clicking the subscribe button and uh, liking this video. Share it if you'd like. And um, we hope to see you again soon.